so as you see, this is probably the, no it is definitely now, the tallest build I've ever done on this build plate. Off and to the races we go, guys. It's coming together. Now, first thing we're gonna address, why is all this nice stuff right here with this crap? So I finished the arm and I showed you guys the progress videos on that. It turned out very nice. I'm proud of myself and I'm learning and also wanna give you guys tips of what I learned. This you saw was printed like a vase going up. This is all of the filament used for supports. That's it. And these guys right here, just a couple of towers, definitely could have gotten rid of. There's no use for them. And I need to watch out for those. They honestly looked and cured to me like fun or I was just too lazy to delete. I'm gonna delete them next time. But there you go. That's pretty awesome. Considerably speaking, all of that. This is some of the other support filming that we have. We keep all the wraps because we use them for stuff inside here. Now let's talk about this. Awesome. So, where are we at? Uh, I finished this glove part a good bit. I have the top cover under here. It needs to, this needs to be sanded more. I already started on it. This needs to be sanded. It hasn't started. Some of the fingers are sanded, some are not. Got all of those done. 100% uh, Mark 6. I'll have the Fingerverse file uh, linked down below. Uh, everyone recommends this glove, loves it. So uh, later on, I'm going to glue it together and show you guys that and how I'll address that. Um, there's a lot of people that have done it and there's some tips and tricks. So I'll, hopefully I'll be able to get this all together and show you guys how, to, how I did it. This is the top cover for the arm. Again, uh, my embarrassment. <laughs> Never print this way. This is how this was printed going up. And it just doesn't do well. There's a lot of spots right here. And then these guys are overhanging. No bueno. Um, go vertically up as much as you can. And this guy, my pride and joy, this helmet. Because they're together and not, you know, printed flat like this, this will require more supports. It'll look kind of ugly, vice versa, same deal. Going up like a vase will probably give me better results and minimum filament. It did. Um, when I took them off of this bed, they immediately came apart, immediately. Um, but that's okay. Uh, these are DO 3D files for the Mark 85. Uh, I like them. This, this is beautiful. I mean, beautiful definition. They turned out perfect. I haven't sanded these. I have not sanded them, not painted them, nothing. It's the red filament. I actually don't like this red filament or the gray one that I've been using. I like the white that I used initially from Amazon Basics. This is Layer Up. I have a new black filament that's PLA Plus coming in later, and I hope that that will be the best one because I ordered three kilograms of it. This was printed at 100%, by the way. 100% uh, is what I'm just going to print everything at 100%. That's my goal. And my idea behind it is I'm going to look bulky and strong like Iron Man. All right. So I put it on. This is what it looks like on me. Bam. Uh, those fingers are going to fall off, but um, they're not holding it together. Print out 100%. So you see, there's, there's definitely room, okay? But I want to look bulky and muscular like Iron Man. So my goal is to print everything on 100%. And if it is too small, there's a problem. Being too big, that's fine. That's fine. I could add padding. I can have room for wiring. I can be a bit more mobile. I won't be, I'm not trying to build a plastic scuba diving suit, okay? That will be not fun to walk around in. It'll be sweaty, super tight. Um, obviously the suit isn't gonna be the most comfortable thing, but I think it being at 100% with the files is gonna work for me. So I'll let you guys know how that works. Um, this is me haphazardly gluing it on so you guys can see. I might have made a mistake. You see right there, that's actually you know printed together I might pay for that later. That's part supposed to be kind of like movable here. So you could, you know, bend your uh, arm. But uh, we'll see. Here's the progress. We got this whole hand. I uh, get that awful part. The head coming together. And just finished, hot off the press, literally as I was filming this, the neck part. I am showing you guys, you see the supports that I did. So again, <sighs> I was really lazy on this one. This back part right here is supposed to come off, separate. But the file has it together. And I know I could have split this apart from this guy and safe supports on, you know, this overhang going on all around here. I know that. But this is not that much support. 
and the time it would take me to try to split this from that and da da da, I just said, you know what? Drop it in, print it, let's go. So here it is, the neck file, head, arm is coming together, making some serious progress, y'all. Um, the red does look beautiful. And I mean, the definition that this printer does, this is not even sanded and it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can see the lines, but nothing that a little sanding out can't do. Beautiful files by Do3D. Uh, I cannot wait. Cannot wait for the whole suit to be finished. I can't wait. But what's coming up in the next episode is giving you guys a heads up. Uh, the printer will be down. <laughs> we will be printing one, a slight uh, project that I have going on. And I'll detail that in the next episode. It'll be kind of interesting. Step back from Ironman, take a little break, refresher. And two, upgrades. We're going to be fixing the fans. And we're adding Octopi and a camera.